Dr. Pruitt, can I ask you a few questions? We've been waiting patiently for... After weeks of dodging our requests for an on-camera interview, we brought the camera to her. This has been a challenging year, so to speak. Dr. Cheryl Pruitt, CEO of Chicago Virtual Charter School since May 2018, inherited many of its troubles. So, one over two... The mostly online public school is on financial and academic probation after poor performance in previous years. We got these... Um, about six weeks late. Parents called CBS2 when more problems popped up. His whole math course was missing. The emails were delivered to the students. Pruitt emails. invited us back the to CBCS today to both address those frustrations and dispute some of them. But if parents say they didn't get their courses straightened out till October, how can you say that the curriculum wasn't delayed? The curric this right here verifies that the curriculum wasn't delayed. Then what was and the problem with some of those parents? And any type of new startup, even with a historical curriculum, People have to get into the process and move forward. Moving on, we discussed her 15% salary bump to $176,000. Why is that okay when you're already on financial probation? I didn't get a large ways, and that's something to be discussed with, with the board. She also because deferred us when we asked about the promotion of her director of strategy. Records show the school is on the hook. When Angela Richardson Bryant travels to and from work, she lives in Atlanta. You can't talk about why her flights are being paid for, why they that's can't find a, anybody else in Chicago? I think that's a question for the board. I would rather much rather talk about how we're moving forward. I understand what you want to talk about, but as the CEO, don't you think it looks a little, it, you know, it's a little improper? That's a question for the board. To speak to the diversity of... As for the future, Pruitt pointed us to last night's strategic planning meeting. The things that we saw... Showed us teacher development happening today and spoke about the importance of community input. We asked about a letter sent home to parents warning about our investigation. And it mentioned that, that you might have a town hall meeting. Is that something that might happen? That's something that the board is looking at. Pruitt directed me to the board at least 16 times in our interview, so we reached out and the board chair wrote back to me telling us the school is in the best financial position in many years and he once again defended those expenses associated with their Atlanta-based director of strategy. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News.